Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and here's another story of some of your freedom going away if uh, people don't wake you up. This is in Vermont. Uh, the Vermont government wants to make it so cops can search your uh, cell phone anytime they want. It's about this uh, no cell phone use law, no distracted driving. What they want to do basically is look through your call log so that they can prove that you were talking on the phone while you were driving and then they can screw you. Uh, it was H527 introduced by Representative Ma Martin Lalonde. Uh, Democrat South Burlington would allow law enforcement officers to seek driver's phone or other electronic device to see if it was being used. Lon said he doesn't intend for the police to be able to take a person's phone back to a squad car and run through it. You, sir, are a liar. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Essentially, it's showing me your text log, he said. You, sir, are a liar. But opponents saying the proposal goes too far, and even while Juan says he isn't uh, sure if the bill can thread the needle between giving law enforcement better tools and protecting privacy. Well, Juan's bill is an amendment to the 2014 ban, and like that act, refers to portable electronic devices. Opponents warn this could lead to search searches of tablets and laptops as well as phones. Yeah, you think? Well, Lon says he's primarily concerned about texting, but cares more about the activity of distracted driving, no matter what the device. Uh, yeah, well, it's time uh, to remove this dirt bag from office. This is a major fascist dirt bag. You Vermonters, you have to remove him from office and make certain that he never gets in office again. See, if we get people together, this idiot will be thrown out of office and get somebody who's on the side of freedom in there, and he would never, ever be able to run for office again. That's what ought to happen here. And the erratic expansion of implied consent comes with serious problems, said Alan Gilbert, executive director of the Vermont chapter of the ACLU. It's rare that I agree with him, but it's not unprecedented. It's hard to believe that this won't be found unconstitutional. He said, calling the bill vague and overbroad. The bill is also vague when it comes to justification for the stop. Person could be sneezing, he said. Yeah. Computers and cell phones have become devices that hold tons of personal information. Police officer could pull someone over and glance down momentarily, demand to search his or her phone and discover private medical information. Yeah, well, this is clearly a violation of our constitutional protections. Now they're comparing it to a uh, drunk driving thing, or if you tell them they'll you know, screw you and that woman and that too, that you're automatically convicted. I think that's wrong too. Anyway, that's uh, the gist of this thing. It goes on and on, but uh, Vermont wants to. This one dirtbag lawmaker wants to uh, take away some of your freedom. I suggest that you Vermonters just throw him out. Hold a recall election and say, you're out of there. You're a dirtbag. You're gone. That's what I suggest. This is unconstitutional. It's disgusting. 
Uh, you better get on your uh, lawmakers and say no, 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 no. I want to fax to Mars. Thanks for watching.